There are many organisms that are present in the ocean, not only fishes but a great number of plankton, bacteria and microorganisms are also important in habitat of the oceanic life. But do you know that which is the most common organism in the ocean? Well, this is gateway to knowledge and today I will let you know that the most common organism in the ocean harbors a virus in its DNA. The most common organism in the world's ocean and possibly on the entire planet is a family of single-celled marine bacteria called SAR11. These drifting organisms look like tiny jelly beans and have evolved to outcompete other bacteria for resources in the ocean. We know that this group of organisms have the ability to host viruses in their DNA. A team of oceanographers discovered that the bacteria that dominate seawater hosts a unique virus in its DNA. The virus is of a type that spends most of its time dormant in the host DNA but occasionally erupts to infect other cells, potentially carrying some of its host genetic material along with it. Many bacteria have viruses that exist in their genomes, but people have not found them in the ocean's most abundant organism. We suspect it's probably common or more common than we thought. We just have never seen it. The viruses have two strategies to live in other organisms. The virus other live in the host DNA and get copied as the cell divide, but sometimes it also replicates and it is released from the other cell. This new study has shown that as many as 3% of the SAR11 cells can have the virus multiply and split, and this is much higher percentage than for most viruses that inhabit a host genome. This produces a large number of free viruses and could be key to its survival. There are about 10 times more viruses in the ocean than there are bacteria, but understanding how those large numbers are maintained is important. How does a virus survive? If you kill your host, how do you find another host before you degrade? If you find a system in bacteria that is easier to manipulate, then you can sort out this basic mechanism. In previous research looking at how marine phytoplankton including SAR used sulfur, the researchers cultivated two new strains of the ocean dwelling organism and analyzed one strain NP1 with the latest genetic techniques. First of all they collected the samples from the coast of ocean and then, then they diluted the seawater several times and then they used a sulfur containing substance to grow the samples in the lab. It was a difficult process for organisms that prefer to exist in seawater. The team then sequenced this strange DNA at the sequencing center. And in this research, they found a full genome. But in the present SAR11 virus genome, they found it very confusing because it was a very small genome. The researchers found that a virus was complicating the task of sequencing the genome. Then they discovered a virus wasn't just in that single strain. When we went to grow the NP2 control culture, they there was another virus. It was surprising how you could not get away from a virus. However, experiments showed that the virus switched to a replicating and bursting in cells is more active when the cells are deprived of nutrients, lysing up to 30% of the host cell. The scientists believe that the bacterial genes that hitch a ride with the viruses could help other SAR11 to maintain their competitive advantage in nutrient-poor conditions. But we still want to understand how that has contributed to the evolution and ecology of life in the ocean. So that was all from my side. If you enjoyed my today's video, then do like and subscribe to my channel.